welcome back to our channel guys if you're new here we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on our round the world tour in Camper Van Kev it's a little bit different this week we spend a day in the life with a Turkish family so thank you to Tugba and her family for hosting us it's been fantastic and you'll see just what we got up to to secular we mm -hmm. hope you enjoy it good morning morning we have just left our park up in Saffron Baloo um, and we are very excited this morning, aren't we? A little bit nervous, not going to lie. <laughs> um, we are off to see a lovely Turkish family that we met the other day. Um, they phoned us yesterday on Instagram. Um, at first it was a little hard because the language barrier. Um, but then she added somebody else to the group that actually spoke English. Um, so yeah, and invited us for breakfast this morning. So we're really looking forward to it, aren't we? We are looking forward to it. And it's such a lovely offer as well. We're sleeping the message and I would like to host your family. <laughs> they so, are just amazing. And she even sent over me some messages yesterday. It's actually like a friend because um, she was sending me pictures of a chai that she was having. Um, and then she said that if we had any laundry, she'd be happy to do it. It's just absolutely, we're just blown away by it every time. You don't get to experience the local culture any more than what we're doing today. So it's going to be a really good experience, a great learning curve for the boys and us. Yeah. She actually said um, that she wanted us to go for breakfast and then they're going to take us to um, another village um, of another person um, and then we can do some swimming and camp which is just so nice but um, I think it's her daughter's where her daughter lives that village is it yeah I think so we're not sure if it is her daughter or not but that's what we can kind of make out um, the only thing is we're running we've only got three months here um, so we can't really stay another night because we've already done a day out into Saffron Baloo which was unexpected so we're trying to get down um, along this coast pretty sharpish aren't we so um, we're not going to stay the night um, but we are going to spend the day with them which is just going to be amazing. It's going to be a good experience. <laughs> have made it. Been looking forward to this. This is going to be really good. <laughs> oh, it does, doesn't it? It's been a while. <laughs> oh, it smells really good. <laughs> well, so look at this. And look at the decorating. It's really nice in here. Really nice, we have all sorts. Bread, olives, some nuts, tomatoes and cucumber, chips, more olives and cheeses. Cool. Excellent host. So we're not gonna to film too much because we wanna be respectful to the family, but this is just amazing. This, uh, I just can't get over it <laughs> that somebody's invited us into their house like this. It's just, it's just brilliant. The kindness and the hospitality just blows you away, it really does. Dizi, Evinis, Kabul, Dry. We're really getting looked after, this is amazing. And that wasn't even all the food. We have some of these here, not sure what these are yet. Eggs. Lovely egg dish. <laughs> mm. Amazing. So what we love about the Turkish breakfast is that you just sit and pick and talk, well, try to talk um, through translator, but it's not affected us in the slightest. We're having a good conversation and it's just brilliant. So when we pulled up, there was lots of children downstairs smiling and waving out the window. And it turns out that Aziz is he's like um 
when you hear the call for prayer, he actually does the call for prayer. And the house here is actually, I think it's sort of owned by the mosque. So yeah, he's downstairs teaching the children about religion and everything at the minute. And he's just took our boys down there to learn with them. So what a good cultural experience for everyone. Tubert says that um, she's been asking about our religion and the difference in Muslim and Christianity and all different religions. Um, and she says that she loves everyone exactly the same. It doesn't matter what religion we are in. And this is just how Turkey is. It's just brilliant to, to be here and make friends like this. <laughs> I think we've made a friend for life here. And it's very true. Everyone is the same. <laughs> so we just heard Dad, Dad, out the window. They're bombing around on bikes out here. And here comes the other one. Cool, they're big bikes, boys. Freddie's not shy, he makes himself right at home. <laughs> so they're such great hosts. We've been trying to help tidy up and take the plates out, but they're not having none of it. They're really, really good hosts. And the boys, they've also been shown around the mosques there, um, as is uh preaches at so real good experience we've never even been in a mosque before so it's really good for them to go and see it this is their lovely home just behind the mosque and this is where kev parked up for a little bit and then i think we're heading to the beach shortly now as is is doing the call to prayer and we've been invited to film in the garden of the mosque obviously there's no filming inside mosque so we're going to wait in the garden the speakers are up there which i'll show you in a sec um and he's about to do his thing we love hearing this and every time we hear it you hear it everywhere in turkey and every time it really makes you smile this is the beautiful mosque and then just on the tower there speakers all around and when as is um goes up and does his call to prayer it blasts out over the speakers and the whole village can hear so we're going to see what that sounds like in a minute Hello. Now that was quality. Now as is, he does that five times a day. So thank you very much for inviting us to that because that was a good experience. Chuk gazelle, chuk gazelle, very good, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> These are a few of the lovely Turkish men that have just been in there for their prayers. Fantastic, everyone's so friendly as well, it's brilliant. So we're actually allowed to film in one. Check this out. Oh, wow. Look at all the lovely decoration on it. Oh, how cool is this? That's unbelievable. Wow. So in this little room here is the mic that bellows out through the speakers. This is where the magic happens. I can't believe we've been allowed in here to film and show you all.
And this is an even better angle from up here. Just can't believe the work involved in all the ceiling. All those windows. So Laura's being taught how to make Turkish coffee. And I just love the pots. Oh. <laughs> Sugar. Sugar. Four scoops of coffee. Give it a good stir. <laughs> I think we're going to be running to the beach after four scoops. <laughs> New coffee goes on the hob there. So we're just filling up the cups with the tiniest little bit. Four scoops. No pressure. <laughs> Expertly done. Oh, yeah, yeah. This thing's so hot. We'll definitely have to get one of those for the van. Yeah, you like your coffee. So another cool idea for their drinking water. They have this big barrel. I'm not too sure if they filled it up, fill it up from the taps, which you often see on the side of the road or not. And then there's also a pump on top. Really cool idea. We're going to share a nice Turkish coffee together. First time we're trying these, we've been looking forward to this as well. There's so much we've been looking forward to. Uh, what great hosts, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm not normally a coffee drinker, but this is really nice. It's like, oh, yeah. you can really taste the coffee. It's like, it's really, really nice. Very strong. Yeah, very strong, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the boys really aren't shy. They've been making their self at home the whole time. So we're now following them to um, Phileas Beach, I think, from what we can gather, um, for some coffee and cake. She's made a lovely cake. I don't know how she's whipped all this together, do you? Know? <laughs> it's unbelievable. She, she literally asked us for, for breakfast yesterday afternoon, and we've had a massive breakfast, um, lots of chai, We've made coffee together and she's managed to whip up a cake somehow, so... Non-stop drinks and everything as well. Yeah. They've really been looking after us. I don't know what I'm so nervous about. I was a little bit nervous about the, the language barrier and everything like that, but... It's been really easy, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, it's really easy. And we just feel like we're one of their family. The kids have made themselves right at home. Um, and she's even said that they're her children now, so... That just shows what they what, what these people are like. It's just it's just a brilliant. Filios Galaxy. Filios Galaxy, bro. Romanolar. Filios Galaxy. So they've just been telling us that the Romans built this wall the size of the block. So I don't think you get the feel for the height of it on the video. It's got to be a good 30 foot at least. This is why it's so good to get the local advice as well because places like this we never would have seen otherwise. So look at this old well here as well. Looking at this, I think a donkey would have walked round which pulled the water up. This is a stone baking oven which would have been used on the ships. 
And here, this is a Roman breeze block by the looks of things. And it's also part of a Roman statue over there. make out this is like an old Roman theatre there's a lot of the old ruins here um, the typical stuff that you find at places like this some flower pots and bits and pieces really cool place once again just bring us down to the beach lovely beach as well there's a few people jumping off a platform over there Fred's already asking to do it but I'm not sure how you get back up there yeah. it's a really cool beach this one there's a lot to do once again there's a lot of restaurants along the coast um, ice cream shops there's a kids park lots of people out enjoying the sun having picnics we've got a picnic blanket and a chairs down there and Laura has just gone to get an ice cream for everyone so yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> now we are in the shade we've just been down the beach now we're in the shade and um, we are just having a bite to eat a bit of cake a glass of cola and it's just amazing there's just no words <laughs> because it's brilliant everyone loves a bit of cake mm. check gazelle check gazelle <laughs> i think it's like a carrot cake maybe yeah it's mm. good so we've just drove maybe 20 minutes i think um we've come for more food it's been a proper food day today <laughs> Uh, we're getting to experience all types of food and it's lovely absolutely stuffed but you can't say no oh, so let's go see what this one's going to be like now we thought we was going to eat something but we've actually come to see Tukba's father um, he owns a market stall here so what more Turkish can you get? And I think she's actually treating them to some shoes. <laughs> we thought they were just treating the boys to some new sliders, but they've literally treated me, Laura, and the boys. How lovely is this? It's just amazing. Tezekula. This is Tukba's father and his friend, um, and they run a shoe shop here. Very nice guys. We've been trying to talk, but we don't really understand each other. It's very hard. <laughs> now, obviously, the shoes are cheap for us because we've just had them as a gift, so it was very cheap. But if you was to pay for them, they were 30 Turkish lira, so one pound fifty for a pair of sliders. You can't get that anywhere. But how kind of them to do this for us? Not expected whatsoever. Completely out of the blue. <laughs> We thought we was going for dinner. <laughs> it's only a short journey, but we're now at the warehouse. <laughs> cool, if you can't find some in here, Frankie, you're not going to find none anywhere. And here's all the stock. Shoes and socks. Find Frankie's size. We may have found them. 
Yes, they look nice. The new shoes, and we're now back on the road. They all they also gave us some new socks as well, which the boys are really happy with because they've got little bears or dogs. dogs. I think they're or a panda. I'll get it right in a minute. So yeah, we've been thoroughly spoiled today, thoroughly. Just dropped the keys back at the parents' house, and I think we might be going for food now, but I'm not too sure. Who knows where we're going to end up? We've just come back into Kev. They said, get quick, get back into Kev. Who knows where we're going now? But, um, I think we're going for dinner, but we don't know. <laughs> it's, this is just fantastic this day. It just can't get better in, any better, really. <laughs> it's so good. A day in the life of a Turkish family. A restaurant now. I think they've ordered for us because we have no idea what we wanted. Um, so they've ordered just a few bits, see what it tastes like. We're still keeping to the traditional theme and we've got some Iran. So Laura's not too keen, but I really like it. I said this last week what this tasted like. <laughs> um, and it's like, it is like a sort of soury milk yogurt. It's like a bit like a Greek yogurt, but in a drinkable form. And it's not bad at all. I am mean, I am getting used to it. I like them. This has just come out. This is called la majon, and it's like a pita bread with yes. this okay. spice in the middle of it. Look. And then okay. they say just to put some salad inside, which we've got lots of different salads oh, okay, and dips. Okay. Go yes. inside it, and it looks so tasty. The smell coming off of it, oh, is incredible. Um, and then once you have this salad in it, you roll it all up. It's a bit like a fajita, really. Hey, mm. Really good, the spices are lovely. And like always, wash down with a lovely chai. Cheers. So we are back in the van. We are following them again. Um, this time we are off to meet her boss. Um, that actually organised this whole thing. We thought it was her daughter, but it's not. Um, so yeah, and apparently the views are meant to be amazing from uh, where the boss lives. So we're really looking forward to it. This day, I don't think we will ever forget because there's just no words to describe what today has been like. I, I will treasure this forever. This is where Tuba works. Um, there's a lot of bungalows, I think they're like holiday let type things, but they're on top of a mountain and the views are just incredible. So while we let our food digest, we thought we'd come up here, take a look at the views and yeah, we'll show you what these are like. It's obviously getting a bit dark here now, so it probably looks a lot better when it's sun shining, but it looks so beautiful from up here. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Those little pods down there, loads of nice comfy chairs. So yeah, if you do fancy coming to Turkey, somewhere a bit less touristy, I definitely rec recommend coming up into the mountains here. And personally, if I was to book a holiday, this is where I'd be coming. I'm not all for the beaches and lots of people. This is a bit of me. following that tractor all the way down here 
to the people that we was with at the other park up that they were with when we met these kind people and i think we've come here for more chai and some corn but look we've presented with they're just so so friendly well we really didn't expect this it's just uh surprise after surprise today they're really looking after us we met a lot of lovely people we met a lot of their friends who tried a lot of foods that we've never tried before um, I think we're here for corn, and then I think that is a day, but we shall see. Either way, we're really enjoying it, and it's been really good. We've got the corn cooking over in this one here, and then over this side is the usual chai. You don't go anywhere in Turkey without getting a chai, if you haven't realised already. There's always such a nice spread of food in Turkey as well. They really go all out on the food. The corn is ready. Seems to be quite a popular thing in Turkey to have corn like this. Um, there's a lot of stalls on the side of the road selling it as well. But it's a good job we love the corn on the cob. So we've just been told that this is organic corn grown in their own garden. It's very, very nice. <laughs> Are you gonna have some, Frankie? Is it a bit hot still? <laughs> So it's the worst bit now, saying goodbye to everyone. We've been dreading this. It's always hard saying goodbye, but it's such a good day though. So we arrived here late last night after spending the most amazing day with some brilliant, brilliant people. Um, and it'll be a day that we never ever forget, will it? <laughs> no, they really looked after us. Unfortunately, we didn't catch too much of the ending as it was a whole day of filming and translating on the phone. So uh, our batteries were dead by that point. Yeah, we're just, uh, well, thank you to Trugba and her family because it was brilliant. To secular. <laughs> to secular. <laughs> um, so join us next week as we head towards Amazra. Yeah, we're going to show you around this beautiful campsite first, another one on the beach, before showing you everything Amazra has to offer and we can't wait for it. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.